How to add a switch leg with a neutral wire for switch junction box to control a light outlet. Light outlet junction box with a pull chain light socket to which the switch leg cable will be added to control that light outlet. Turn off the power. Remove the pull chain light socket from the junction box. Make sure the light outlet junction box will accommodate the new cable. According to the junction box calculations in the NEC, National Electrical Code, this junction box will accommodate another 14, 3 cable. Cable from the power source. Cables to another electrical outlets. Temporarily pull the spliced wires out of the junction box to make room for the new cable. Junction box cable wires. Neutral wires, white. Hot wires, black. Ground wires, bare. Install a 14, 3 cable of the same gauge from the switch junction box as the wires in the light outlet junction box, insert it into the light outlet junction box, and secure it to a stud no more than 12 inches from the point where the cable enters the junction box. Fourteen three nm non-metallic sheathed cable from the new switch enters into the light outlet junction box. The cable inside the junction box must be long enough to be properly connected once it is inserted into the junction box. Cable secured to the stud within 12 inches of the cable entry into the junction box. Remove the cable sheath. Wires should be at least 6 inches long. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than 1 quarter inch. 14 3 nm cable wires white neutral wire bare ground wire black hot wire red hot wire second connect the ground bare wire of the new cable to the ground bare wires from the junction box then insert the connected wires into the junction box Ground wires spliced and inserted into the junction box. Strip the end of the neutral, white wire about one half inch.
To ensure a better connection, use pliers to connect the neutral, white wire from the new cable to the neutral, white wires from the junction box. Secure the connected wires with a wire nut and insert them into the junction box. End of the neutral wire stripped about one half inch. Neutral wires connected using pliers. Secured with a wire nut. And inserted into the junction box. Three to five twists are sufficient as too many twists may damage the wire insulation. Disconnect the hot black wire from the light socket and remove the pigtail wire from the spliced hot black wires. Pigtail wire disconnected from the hot terminal gold screw of the light socket. Strip the end of the hot, black, wire from the cable to the switch about one half inch. Connect it to the hot, black, wires from the junction box using a wire nut and insert connected wires into the junction box. Hot, black, wires connected with a wire nut and inserted into the junction box. Strip the end of the hot, red, wire about one half inch and connect it the hot terminal, gold screw of the light socket. Stripped end of the hot, red, wire. Connected to the light socket. Secure the pull chain light socket to the junction box and install the light bulb. Installation complete. Switch leg cable from the light outlet. Insert the cable into the junction box and secure it to a stud no more than 12 inches from the point where the cable enters the junction box. Cable inserted into the junction box and secured to the stud within 12 inches from entry point. Remove the cable sheath, trim the wires to no shorter than 6 inches and strip the end of hot, black and red wires about 1 half inch. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than one quarter inch. 
The length of free wire from the removed cable sheath must be at least 6 inches. At least 3 inches of wire must extend from the front of the junction box. Wire ends stripped of insulation. Junction box cable wires. Ground, bare, wire which should be connected to the ground terminal of the switch. The neutral, white, wire is not used, but is required by NEC for switches in some locations. In this connection will be buried inside the junction box for future use. Hot, black, wire coming from the light outlet power source which should be connected to any of the hot terminals of the switch. Hot, red, wire returning to the light outlet which should be connected to any of the hot terminals of the switch. Secure the neutral, white, wire with a wire nut and insert it into the junction box. Neutral wire inserted into the junction box. Make a loop at the end of each wire. A loop is made at the end of each wire. Single pole switch, front view. Single pole switch, rear view. Ground connection terminal, green screw. Hot connection terminals, gold screws. Connect the ground, bare, wire to the ground terminal of the switch, green screw. Ground wire connected. Connect the hot wires, black and red, coming from and returning to the light outlet junction box to the hot terminals of the switch in any order. Hot wires connected to the switch. Insert the wires into the junction box, make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot terminals of the switch. Wires inserted. Secure the switch to the junction box and install the switch wall plate. Installation complete. Restore power and test the light outlet. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.